listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Refocus Radio. We are here once again today. We have another show lineup for y'all today. We have a returning guest, Eric Stackelbeck, and we have an amazing show lineup for y'all. The new episode that is coming on TBN, The Rise of Artificial Intelligence, is a big topic right now. AI, everyone's talking about it. It's a special episode airing September 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So first and foremost, Eric, welcome back to the show. How you doing? Hey, good to be with you, Shemaya. Thanks for having me back. So this conversation that you're going to go in on this special airing, tell us a little bit about your concerns about AI and some of the benefits. Yeah, you know, everyone's been talking about AI, as you mentioned, over the past several months in particular, especially since ChatGPT became such a big thing, really back kind of around November 2022, And the thing that concerned me is, number one, everyone's talking about it. So obviously I said, well, I need to know what's going on here. Uh, But number two, the potential for AI to get beyond, in a sense, human control. Basically, this is an autonomous uh, piece of programming, I guess you would call it, that really in some ways, clearly it doesn't have a soul, but it in some ways has a mind of its own where it is hyper-intelligent, super-intelligent, And if the wrong people can get their hands on this, I believe it can be used for nefarious means. And in researching this special, I found that all of us in some form or fashion have been using AI in some way over the past few years. Even, hey, the Maps app on your iPhone, you know, Siri or Alexa, if you use that, a Google search, uh, recommendations on Amazon or, or Netflix, all of these are smaller forms of AI But in the big picture, you have rogue regimes like China and others who are trying to harness this advanced technology and use it for their own ends. And it could be a dangerous thing. And to your point, when it comes to the balance between the technical investment of ethical considerations, how crucial is it to have that point of view? Because from ethics purpose and from benefits purpose, there seems to be a gray area. Yeah, Shmaya, I'm glad you brought that up because when you think of, you know, China, Vladimir Putin's Russia and some of these other world actors who are trying to perfect AI, they don't have the same moral and ethical concerns in many cases that we have here in the West. They don't have many guardrails as to what they'll do. And coming at it from a, from a Christian perspective, me personally, I come at it from a biblical worldview. There are serious concerns that some of the folks behind AI who are controlling this program have a view that is hostile to Christianity or a biblical worldview. So look, would AI be, could AI be programmed to have uh, somewhat of a hostile attitude towards Christianity? We even have some leading intellectuals and thinkers who are saying, well, maybe AI can create its own religion. AI is such a super intelligent entity. It can, one thinker, uh, so-called said, it could perfect religion. AI could make the perfect religion. This is, these are real discussions happening right now to the point, Shemaya, where in Germany back in June, we had the first ever AI church service where the sermon was completely written by artificial intelligence. And even the so-called preacher was an AI, basically avatar. So this is where we're at right now. This is growing quickly. And I think as Americans and for me as a Christian, we really need to be aware of what this is all about and how it's going to affect our daily lives. Because, again, it is growing. Once again, we're talking to our our special guest, TBN's uh, Eric Stackelbeck and his new special that is going to air September 5th. It is the rise of artificial intelligence. And to your point earlier in the interview, you, you, you mentioned that AI doesn't have a soul. It is programmed and it's resourceful based on information that is input into the system that is learned by other prompts in course of, yeah. you know, time period. So to that point, you will have also special guests included in this uh, special that will help you dive even deeper into this topic. If you could kind of share a little teaser of some of the special guests that will help you explore this. Yeah, one guy in particular, actually two people in particular jump out to me, Shemaya. Number one, 
Brian Romilly is a leading tech expert. He's been at this since the 1980s. He's been on the cutting edge of AI. And he is someone who says, look, it's kind of a Gutenberg Bible moment in that as Christians, can we use AI for good? Can we use it to spread the gospel? So he's a tech guy, but who is a Christian. So really interesting mix there. Also, Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee on Capitol Hill in D.C., she's kind of leading the charge to try and rein AI in before it gets completely out of control. And she wants legislation that will put limits on this technology. She's concerned about China, obviously, and others. But she even talks, Shemaya, about AI making jobs obsolete. That's another big conversation here that we get into, including, look, she represents Nashville, even in the music industry. People are concerned that AI will replace musicians, producers. It can all be computer generated. So fascinating discussions for sure and very timely. I mean, not to poke fun at this, but my next question will be, will AI be able to be ran on generator? I mean, what do you do if it loses yeah. power? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, that, that's a great question. What if you have a blackout? What, what will AI do then? That's actually a great question. And hey, for me as a newsman, Shamaya, they're even talking about AI avatars delivering the news soon. So Man, this is going in a lot of different directions. There is certainly potential danger with it, no doubt. But, you know, hopefully we can, you know, social media for all its downfalls and iPhones for all their downfalls. Good people have been used, be able to use them for, for the good as well. So I think that's what people are trying to figure out with AI right now, especially me as a Christian. I'm thinking, OK, it's here to stay. The genie's out of the bottle, so to speak. How can we use this technology for good and not just cede that ground to evil forces? And to your point, I mean, AI is a very new uh, technology that is happening, that is being pushed very heavily. And a lot of AI has been in the news. I mean, we, we know about some of the news that happened with cars recently, and that's another topic. But to your point, it is a discussion that is very well needed to explore. And thank you for your work. What you're doing it. Our audience can go visit your website, ericstackelbeck.com. What's a good call to action that you want our listeners to take? I think don't be fearful of this technology, Shamaya. It's here to stay, no doubt, and it's only going to grow. I don't think we can run and hide in the corner. I think we need to say, okay, what's it all about? We don't have to become AI experts, but I think we need to at least be aware of it and be ready for the challenges it poses. And perhaps, look, use it to our benefit for a positive agenda. For me as a Christian, hey, can I use it to spread the gospel? I have that perspective. So that's what we're trying to figure out right now because the downside of it is clear. How can we turn this for the good? TBN's Eric Stackelbeck, amazing guy doing amazing things. You can go visit his website, ericstackelbeck.com. And don't forget to mark your calendar for September 5th for the special episode of The Rise of Artificial Intelligence. It's airing on TBN, September 5th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Once again, thank you for your time. Thanks, Shemai. God bless. 